my sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be detailing the entire process of braces and my experience from the beginning to the end. Before I begin, I just wanted to say that my braces videos usually bring in people who don't normally watch my videos, who don't normally uh, watch my channel. So if you are wanting from the beginning, I made braces updates every three months. So I'm going to link the braces playlist uh, below and above if you want to watch it from the beginning. But as you can see, I don't have braces anymore. So I have actually finished the whole entire process. Um, I've been waiting until like the very end. I have no more orthodontist appointments scheduled. Um, so I'm finally braces free. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird to say, but I want to detail my whole entire process um, and my experience with braces as an adult, as well as hopefully answer some of y'all's questions. I get a lot of questions even still, so hopefully this answers some of those for y'all. But uh, first I want to start with the basic stats of me, my teeth, my mouth, my braces. <laughs> I had moderate crowding and a deep overbite and overjet. The bite was my main issue. My teeth were sort of crooked here and there, but that really wasn't the biggest thing. My bite was terrible. The estimated time that my orthodontist gave me was 15 to 18 months. Uh, the actual time it took was just a few days under 18 months. I was 20 years old when I got them, and I was 21 when I got them off. I was actually like, it was like a month, less than a month before my 22nd birthday. Um, and I did get my wisdom teeth removed before I got braces. Um, I got my wisdom teeth removed and I had an adult tooth. I'll get into this in a second, but I still have a baby tooth. I had an adult tooth that was in my gums and I had that removed as well. So the process. Um, basically since I was, since I got most of my adult teeth, like I said, I do still have one baby tooth. Um, but since I had most of my adult teeth, my dentist, just my regular dentist, dentist for my checkups, was saying that I might want to go to an orthodontist to get braces. Um, one, because of my bite, and two, because I, my baby tooth, the adult tooth was still up in my gums, and they wanted to try to bring that down using braces. So in, I think, the spring of 2018, we went to a consultation with an orthodontist, and he said that my bright, my bright, my bite does suck and we're gonna have to fix that, but I was still probably too old for the braces to be able to pull the adult tooth down uh, because it's usually, it usually works a lot better when they are younger, when their gums are still kind of, everything's a little malleable, can move around a little more, but he said since I was older, at this point I was 19, um, the adult tooth had probably hardened in my gums. He said we could use braces to try to bring it down, but there's no guarantee that it would work and it would probably take a lot more time. So we decided that I was going to get my wisdom teeth removed and in the same surgery as I'm re removing my wisdom teeth, I was also going to get that adult teeth. I'm just gonna pull it um, and just stick with the baby tooth. Since I've had this baby tooth my whole life, since I've had teeth, and he's still hanging in there, he's still living his life, um, there is a, an air of uncertainty with it, uh, which I will get into later. So in the summer of 2018, I got my wisdom teeth removed, I got that adult teeth pulled. And then in December of 2018 is when I started the actual like braces process. We went back in, um, I had three, or I guess two initial appointments, this was in December. Um, the first one, they just like took a mold of my teeth, took some pictures, really basic stuff, it was very quick. Um, and then the second one, I got spacers. And if you are about to get braces, I'm assuming that's why you're watching this, um, spacers were the worst. Um, I, I hear a lot of different things about how braces hurt so bad and there's so, so much pain and all this stuff. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not have much pain at all throughout this whole process. Spacers, the pain that came with spacers was the worst. I don't know if that's because I wasn't used to things moving my teeth because it was still at the beginning, I hadn't had braces, um, and so my teeth weren't used to it, or what, but it was terrible. So I had spacers for about two weeks, I wanna say, and then I went in, they took them out, and I put the braces on. I had top and bottom put on at the same time. Um, I got regular metal braces, and I also got a bite plate because like I said, I had a really deep overbite and overjet, 
uh, which basically means I'm gonna put pictures somewhere in here I don't really know where but my top teeth were like completely covering my bottom teeth you couldn't see my bottom teeth and the bite was just really off so I got the braces put on I got the bite plate put in and it was I couldn't remove it it was like welded into the brackets on the molars uh, so the the orthodontist could take it off when it was time to take it off, but I, I couldn't take it off. So I got everything on on January 21st of 2019. I get a lot of questions about the bite plate. Um, again, if you have any questions about this stuff, my I have a braces playlist. Everything's in depth. I did an update every three months and I talked all about what I was experiencing, what was going on in my mouth. <laughs> the bite plate is not fun. It's not a fun time. I get a lot of questions asking how to talk better, how to eat, what to eat. Um, the truth is, it's it's not fun. It sucks. You're going to have a lisp. That's just the nature of it. Um, any tips, I would say at the beginning, practice talking a lot um, because that's going to help you kind of get used to it a lot more and you're going to sound terrible. You're going to have a really bad lisp, I know, but you get used to it. It does get better. It doesn't ever go away while you have the bite plate because, I mean, there's this thing in your mouth and it's right on the roof of your mouth. And so, eat soft foods, um, especially near the beginning. It does get to the point where you can eat pretty normally with the bite plate in. So, near the beginning, my teeth and the bite moved really fast. I saw progress so, so quickly and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm gonna get them off so early because everything's moving so fast. I don't know if that's the same for everyone else. That's just what my experience was. But um, I had the bite plate for about six months. Around the three month mark, I got power chains. And again, this is one of those things I hear a lot about how terrible they are and how bad it hurts. This was the one thing that really stood out to me. Cause you know, I hear that a lot with like, um, take getting them on or taking braces off or like uh rubber bands but this one really stumped me because everyone was saying that power chains are terrible but i literally felt nothing so take what you will with that i felt absolutely nothing with power chains it changed nothing for me my experience was completely the same i actually liked power chains more because i thought they looked nicer but i got those at about the three month mark and i had those on and off basically the whole time there were a few times where you know they would be like oh let's only keep them on the top and then we'll take them off on the bottom and then next appointment they'd put them back on or they would only have it from like here to here or something so it was like on and off randomly throughout the whole time uh, and then probably near the last three or four months it was just power chains all the time to just keep everything in place. At around the 12 month mark, um, so after a year I got rubber bands and those were, I mean there was some pain with that, they weren't the worst thing in the world because like I said with my whole braces experience there really wasn't anything that was terrible pain, it wasn't, I was never like in this terrible excruciating pain except for I guess the spacers um, and also like the first week of braces it kept like tearing up my tongue and it hurt so bad when my tongue would bleed and but this was only it only lasted a few days and it was like because I wasn't used to having the braces in my mouth but the rubber bands a little bit of pain here and there it did make it a lot harder to eat um, but you get used to it I mean with all of this you get used to it and you adjust it is kind of awkward to eat with uh, when you're by yourself it's not like a big deal but around other people because mine at least my orthodontist told me to keep them in like even when you're eating just have them in all the time except for like brushing your teeth so i would eat with them on as well and sometimes i can there can be food in there so just like be conscious of that i think i just said that i got rubber bands around the 12 month mark but that's not true i got them around the nine month mark um i have some notes here that i'm reading because i cannot remember all this stuff but around the 12 month mark um, I got I had to get a closing loop over there was a little gap that was actually caused by the braces so as I mentioned I have a baby tooth and we decided to leave a little bit of room um, because in case this so the the weird thing with the baby tooth is it's obviously been there my whole entire life it's supported me very well but there's a chance it could fall out basically at any moment and so we just want to plan for getting an implant at one point so um, even when i got the adult tooth and my gums removed they replaced it with some bone graft so that 
in case the baby tooth ever fell out, I could get an implant and they wouldn't have to go back in and add bone, cra gra bone graft because that takes a while and it's a whole process. So we are just preparing for the fact that one day this baby tooth, baby tooth could fall out. So we decided to leave a little bit of space. Also, I have really, really small teeth. Everything about like the lower half of my face is really small. I have a very small jaw that is underdeveloped um, and my teeth are really small. And so I also have peg laterals. So the, the teeth beside, between my front teeth and my canines, they're really skinny and small. And so we also left a little bit of space in case I want to add some more like composite to them to just make them a little bit bigger. So we decided to add a little gap. And so the braces, made this gap it wasn't there before and then for about five or six months i want to say we were trying it opened too big and so we were trying to close it back to leave a small space like we want but it was not closing with the power chains or just like regular time so we had to add a closing loop um, and it was like this thing, there's like the little loops and it didn't affect the way anything looked or anything like that. It just kind of like stuck up from the wire a little bit. Um, it wasn't a big deal. It was a little sore. Again, all these things are sore. Adjustments, you're gonna be sore. It's not excruciating pain. Please don't listen to people who say that you're in terrible, terrible pain. Um, but yes, there was some soreness with adjustments and stuff like that. And that's basically what the closing loop felt like. But that eventually worked. And so then we took that off. And then I got my rubber bands off, I want to say around 14 months. And probably the last like six months to a year, progress became a lot slower. And especially after the six month mark, or when there was only six months left, um, progress was super slow. And I felt like things weren't really changing. I wasn't seeing a lot. Uh, near the beginning, I had been taking like pictures almost every day. Um, and I was seeing so much progress. Um, and then after about the year mark, it started to slow down. And then the last six months, I was like, do I even still need these on? Because I feel like nothing's happening. I promise things are happening. Even if you can't always see progress, your orthodontist knows what they're doing. And yeah, but take pictures. That was always a fun thing. I took so many pictures, especially near the beginning, because I guess I wasn't used to it. And I love progress pictures and stuff like that, before and after stuff. And oh my goodness, you don't even know the excitement that I felt when I went in for an orthodontist appointment that I thought was gonna be the regular one. And he was like, yeah, like things are looking good. I think we could probably take them off on the next appointment. I was like, what? Okay, all right. It's so exciting. So that was the basic process of how everything worked. Went into some details on like all that stuff. Again, if you really want more details, the playlist is there. It's from the beginning to the end. Uh, but now I want to talk about just some basic uh, things that happened, my thoughts, my feelings. Um, and then after this, I'm going to go into like some tips. So pain wise, I've already given my experience with the pain. It really wasn't that bad. Um, and I get a lot of questions asking if them putting the braces on hurt. That doesn't hurt at all. There's no pain with them putting braces on. It's just like glue on your teeth. Like you don't even feel it. It was a little different when they were taking it off. There was some pain because they have to like twist it off and like some areas were like hard. Um, also, I have very sensitive teeth and when they were shaving down the glue, it was making my teeth hurt really bad, but that's just my teeth. I have very sensitive teeth. That's another thing, my braces, I've always had sensitive teeth. Braces made my teeth extra sensitive and even now I still, can't really eat or drink super cold things, um, which sucks. I mean, I have my own like process now with, with doing that and handling that, but it made my teeth a lot more sensitive. I don't know if that's normal or what, but same with adjustments, wasn't a lot of pain. You'll be sore for maybe two, two or three days after, but it's nothing terrible. After I got my braces off, um, I had to, I got my retainer and it was just a regular metal and plastic uh, top and bottom removable retainer and I had to wear that for six weeks straight day and night uh, And then I went back and they're like looking good. You can only wear it at night now So I'm now completely done with everything. Um, I just have to wear the retainer at night But for the first six weeks after getting them off I did have to wear it all the time 
which like it's really not a big deal and I would take that over braces but it's like when you finally get the braces off you're like I just want to like show my teeth to the world that I had to wear a retainer so during my experience with braces nothing ever broke for me um, I can only think of one time it was like my second appointment and like a band came off like a few hours later but it was a quick fix and it wasn't a big deal but other than that like I never had any issues I never had to go in because things were broken Everything went really smoothly. Nothing broke or snapped or messed up. Uh, the only issue that was ever during my treatment, which I think maybe delayed it a little bit, I think I may have gotten been able to get my braces off a month earlier, um, was because COVID happened and so my the office shut down and my I had one appointment canceled. So and then I I probably went two months two and a half months without an appointment because of covid again i don't think it was a big deal but i think maybe it delayed it a little bit but i'm really happy with the progress um i think there are times where i'm still like man i feel like they look exactly the same like i feel like nothing changed especially because my biggest issue is the bite because you see pictures where it's like super crooked and there's gaps everywhere and everything's like all over the place and mine wasn't like that I think the biggest thing just appearance wise from the front was like my teeth were kind of like in a weird shape like this and they just brought everything level but sometimes I'm like man nothing changed but I have to also remember it's it's kind of been a journey of like self-love uh, because I always have to remind myself that like these are my teeth like there weren't gonna my teeth are really small and I'm self-conscious about that but it's not like they were gonna replace all my teeth so like the way the teeth looked individually beforehand is what they're gonna look like after and I think I was expecting this big dramatic change but they're my teeth and same with my jaw I get a lot of questions asking especially because it was my bite so it makes sense but I get a lot of questions asking about you know if it made everything straight again and like all this stuff but and I'm sometimes I'm like man like it did help but I like I wonder why it's still not perfect why I don't have like a super perfect jaw and chin but like I just I have an underdeveloped jaw and chin and there's nothing I can change about that here I'll show you from the side oh go this way but I'll show you all from the side like this is my normal bite this is my normal profile and sometimes I'm like man why doesn't it just look better why doesn't it look like other people's but it's just like that's just the shape of my face and yes it changed my side profile a little bit but at the end of the day this is still my face this is still my jaw this is still my teeth and I was expecting a really big dramatic change and it did help and my smile is perfect whew, for me but that doesn't always mean they're going to be the exact stereotypical perfect that we always see because I got a small teeth. I got a baby tooth still, and that's okay. Okay, so moving on to tips now, because I get so many questions asking for advice, just general advice with braces. Brush your teeth, please brush your teeth often. I, you will get your braces off so much faster if you just brush your teeth. Keep them clean, please. Floss, use a water pick, use a water flosser. I recommend those. To tell you the truth, I never flossed with an actual floss string thing. Uh, I just used a water pick and it was perfectly fine. Seriously, don't eat the things that you're not supposed to eat. My sister also had braces and she ate hard candy, gummy candy, squishy sweets, all this stuff that you're really not supposed to eat. And she had a lot of issues going back in and like things were broken and stuff like that. And she probably could have gotten them off a lot quicker <laughs> if she had followed their advice. I genuinely like did not eat a lot of the things I'm not supposed to eat obviously I still eat like sweets and stuff like that but like gummies gum popcorn I didn't have that stuff for almost two years and I never had any issues with things breaking so take that as you will it goes by a lot faster than you think I was always terrified and this also kind of goes in with confidence um, I was so scared because especially as an adult with braces and I know there's a lot of y'all who are a lot older than me and I don't know if I would even be qualified as an adult 
I mean, I am, but like I got them when I was 20, which is a really young adult. But I was so scared of like, I was gonna be in college with braces. I was gonna have my 21st birthday with braces and like only middle schoolers have braces. But I guarantee you, no one cares, no one's looking. And after I got braces, I realized how many other people my age also had braces. And like, no one cares. And if they do, that's just a stupid thing to make fun of you for because it's just so dumb. Seriously, be confident. And I know you probably don't feel very confident, but it goes by so much faster than you think. No one's paying attention. And I was just devastated <laughs> that it was going to be like, I was gonna be an adult with braces. I thought I was gonna look so young and a lot of people did. They thought I was a lot younger than I was, but so, I mean, that could work in your favor, who knows? But I promise you it is not as bad as you think it's gonna be. Alrighty folks, I believe that is everything that I have to say about my whole intensive, detailed experience with braces as an adult. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you have any other questions, please comment down below and ask me. Um, this is probably gonna be the last braces video I make, unless there's like a lot of questions that I didn't answer that a lot of people have. Um, but other than that, I am done. I am done with my braces journey. I am so excited to finally be done. And I'm so happy that I was able to share it with y'all because I know that so many of y'all are going through the same thing and enjoyed the advice and, and just having someone else to like relate to with that. So thank you so much for watching. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see y'all in my next video.